evening to you, lovely studio audience, viewers at home. Thank you very much for tuning in to TV3 First in News, Best in Entertainment. And tonight, I'm quite sad because it's going to be our last studio edition of Ghana's Most Beautiful Season 7. In seven days, we are all going to meet at the Accra International Conference Center and find out who gets to wear the crown. I'll go to our judges again. Linda, how are you today? I'm well, thank you. How are you too? I'm doing wonderful. Tonight is our last studio edition of Ghana's Most Beautiful Season 7. What is your expectation for tonight? Frankly, I'm just hoping to have a good time. I'm hoping to give us something to remember them by since it's going to be our last studio performance. So I'm hoping that we'll have a very nice time and something very memorable. Uncle David, someone has to leave us tonight. If you had your own way, should we take the five to the finals? Well, if you all, had your own way. All too soon, we, we run through. And um, I would like to open my eyes wider for the last tonight to see whether one should leave or one or all of them should go to the final. Uh, it's going to be quite tough. But I guess uh, looking at their opening dance, it's like they, they, they have really matured into you know, the, the queenly roles. And I'm hoping to see a very wonderful performance tonight. All right, so tonight is going to be a good night. I believe so because I've seen their rehearsal and you are yet to see all the wonderful performances they have for you tonight. It's going to be a transcultural, let me say, a transregional performance. Growing up, I lived in Ashanti region. I lived in the Eastern region. I lived in the Volta region, the Central region. So I learned little bits of their culture and their heritage. And that is exactly what our ladies will be um, parading tonight on this GMB stage. So if you really want to see who goes through to the finals and who eventually becomes Ghana's most beautiful, in seven days, kindly pick up your phone and text your favorite contestant's name to the short code 1740. And it's available to all networks. My name is Stacy. This is Ghana's Most Beautiful. I'm on some more hobby. Maria, I'm exercise. I'm on some more Over there, I'm on exercise. Now, enjoy your body. Hey, maybe I say, God, I thank you for this day. Ekia Bakuma. Ekia Bakuma. Watch your bra eye. Pachoy and in Tamil breakfast, the Montum of Mufenza Gordam. I, Pacho. Able to my shift to Naba, this side, Mama. Thank you. Oh, I was in Kamebi South there from a daily snimber. Because Muria or them who are called the Wagana. Watch out, Mumma Kano, or them which I sometimes. Mistakes, Wado. It's in Pacho. What? What's about to win, Mamma? Fine. Okay. Wow, are you creamy there? Wow. Very chum tea. It's around a powder in your something light, in one. Now it's all cool it down. Hey, a damn night, two minutes later, in one. Mm hmm. Oh, you're ready. Why are you there? Hmm. Where is this? Where is this? Her. 
Say, Hey, sensitive teeth. My patients are relieved. Well, Marisha. Hey. Oh, Marza Americano. When you're spelling mistake and now, or you're typing mistake. What are you very as an eye and proper? Because, yes, I'm a macrocytes because me a teacher. Hey! What about the number 2013 BECE 0%. Mark Marito, my my heart will break it. Eesh, oh yeah, they are oh yeah, I'm talking to them. Eh, after teaching for twenty five years, but to move them you would daily say oh yeah, I'm talking. Oh, me raze Central Region. Eh, that man is on you. Oh, be on him the Central Region. Eh, he has a cradle of education. He has a brother who meet the first. Eh, one. He has a meet the brother who first. So you dumb now you are home too. My goodness. Oh you say yeah. Oh you they are in fact, eh? That mazi or you'll be on a problem. Government or can yeah so you can I will phone you can home frabano teachers no that mazi or them moshe. Now last square I'm share them um papa your friend day, Mr. Ibo Hansen. Mm education a a regional a director of education or them friend. Because that man's here, they're not even containing. We found no one here. Oh, if you are back, ma, watch out for me. Found the brim eye. How about some? Bunchy tail. If I'm found the bunchy tail, my goodness. Found you, you know what? Don't try me next time. My, 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 one of my students gave it to me. My son has a appreciation. When you know, or your blessing, or what they are teaching, or your calling. Do a work or teacher. No worry, and then maybe I I have to make this call. I wonder it sometimes. It's my WhatsApp because. Hello. Hello. Yes. Mpacho, yes, Mrs. Hannah Hanson, Nerekasi, Mpacho Nyo, yes, oh, it's me, it's me from my voice, yes, when you're happy, yeah, last week, Michelle, no, you did not, you can about some, oh, my baby was daily, or my heart broken, yeah, oh, my baby was central, you didn't win, zero percent with BEC, how about summer, no, oh, you're dumb now, you're home too, my father, my mother, my mother, suggestions being her. I, I want to help you. I will come to you and I will come to you. 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 Yes, the teachers should be supervised. They should always come. One hour there, what is damage man? One run, one share. And then they should also try there. What be motivated teachers? Oh, as a teacher, you could cross out what they motivating. They also want to be put in the best. Eh, one. Yes. Now, government, so what's what to provide buildings, as in infrastructure, as in what to my boy. Eh, one. I hear for no some potential. Air can meeting. Now, when you go for meetings, please let them understand that they should put some laws or some, um, some things in place so that children don't have to go to the seashore during school hours. And one is risky because when you're more on ye, they should try to let the children have interest in school. They should stay in school. And one, why you be able to start drama and other things to keep them in school? Damn no, obey you happy there, obey for school. No, and one, yes, encourage them. No, I try and teach them. And one, now catch your one what to do. And what do people see? You know, what they want for one who ye, and for one you say, Nazas, or what they want you now, what carton? And one, yes, because damn as they do, or you're my home too, or you're damn now as a movement professional, or no, yes, 
Mpochal me a happy pade. It's my understand them. Yes, I'm really, really grateful. Yes, I would be very happy there. The next time, probably you'd have a meeting or something, you'd put this across so that we'd work hand in hand. I would also do my part. Mm, I'm a good teacher. I'm a student. I'm going to bring them on board so that we would go and mentor the children, let them know that they are important. Yes. As a good as I've been on paid them put to cross. Some people. Sebi 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 eti mukade obi e kurasini e kadama semia it is something in your brain or work it's serious eti mukade obi e kurasini ana chede there's something in your brain about kurasi but on only grassroots level bbia that has to go on in a community or a country you know the grassroots level should be tackled first and that's how development would go on ehwa yes. And to them as a non-campo, they look to me, so you better mark kind of schools and say, no one should ever, ever, ever say, say, or be a crassing, because we all come from a crassing. Then renowned people, both from Cape Coast, Dr. Craig Agri, Ehun, Kofi Annan, one in our Wolfie Hall, gentlemen, Kadamas, and Ehun, I'm re, yes, or you're home too. But then I would end here because more credit for Rana, in Timpacho later. My friend, my can other things I tell you one. My partner, God bless you there. In your mama, but tonight CMI, I'm very grateful. Okay, thank you very much. Bye bye, bye. Thank you. Nelly, I have a question for you. Okay. Do you think that culture is important for development? Yes, please. Culture is really important for development. Culture depicts the people of a, of a land or a, a particular place. And then their culture tells who they are. It is really important because when you're able to depict who you are, then you'd have a stand. Then you'd be able to do other things for your country. No, listen to the question very well. Okay. Do you think culture is important for development? Yeah, culture is very, very important for development. When you take um, probably tourism, and then it depicts, it shows the people, it, it brings about who the people are. Culture is about how they dress, how people live, their way of living, and everything. This bring, it collectively brings people together, like Ghana, for instance, the 10 regions, for instance. We are coming on, a, on one platform, standing for talking about issues in our country through our culture. And through this, people get to know who we are. They come to us, and that's how we get to do other businesses, and things go on. People get interested in us. They come all the way from afar to and they come to us, and this is how development would go on. Because when they are interested in us, they come to us, then we can do business. They are able to attach themselves to us. We could do business, we could learn from them, and this is how we would open up as a country. So culture is very important. Well, thank you. You answered part of the question. What I was expecting was to um, intertwine culture with development. By that, what I mean is culture is very important like you described. But then, how does it help in our development? In other words, how can development take place without understanding the culture of the people? Well, if you, once you, you, until you understand the culture of some people, you wouldn't be able to draw close to them. And until they also get to know that you understand them and then know they get to understand that you know who they are and you accept who they are, then they would be able to open up to you so that development would come up. Would come up. Yes, that's a good answer. Thank you. Ah. Today too, eh? I didn't get food. Hey, for the past three days. Hey. Not eating for the past three days. What is happening? Oh God! Hey, hmm. God is in control. 
region of Ghana is where I, Bampema Bafana, proudly represent, and the home of the dance I just performed, Bamaya. Bamaya means the valley is wet. Ba means valley, and Maya means wet. The beautiful Bamaya dance originated in the 19th century, and based on the story we just displayed, a man who maltreated his wife, resulting in a plague of famine. It was revealed at the oracle that to end the great famine, all men must dress like women to perform the Bamaya dance. After dancing for a while, it started raining and the famine ceased. So, is maltreatment of women still going on in our Ghanaian communities? Wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> men and women are maltreated in diverse ways. It could be physical, psychological, emotional, and economical. But the rate at which our Ghanaian women have been maltreated is not the best. Hey! From girls to adult women, have we come to realize the pain and challenges married women go through? Pain and challenges people staying with others as a result of poverty, death, and Divorce of parents also go through. Culturally, it is largely women who are trapped in an accusation of witchcraft and are banished to the richest camp away from their homes. So, are we doing the right thing? Hmm. Our women become depressed, develop anxiety attack, and even die. No matter how, no matter the causes, we shouldn't treat our women like that. Don't forget that it's against their fundamental human rights. My dear one going through a situation like this, remember and believe that you are not alone. Help is available for you, okay? Mm. I call on various agencies of social control, the family, community, or community churches, schools, the mass media, and the law enforcement agencies to please help provide the first aid support services in the form of counseling for women going through such a situation. 
and also help champion a campaign against maltreatment of women. My dear women, please gather the courage to report to any police station for help. They are, they are there for us, so you have to open up for help. Mm. To the men out there who maltreat women, remember, you do not only deprive them of their fundamental human rights, but you also dehumanize them. Let us use the plague of famine resulting from the maltreatment of women and their punishment as a lesson because crime against women is crime against a nation. Thank you. Yeah, um, that, was, that was fantastic. Um, having been able to cross over to another region, I believe you are very much abreast with what happens in your region. So I have this question for you. Kindly of listen and um, try to do something about it. Mention some specific cultural issues in your area which you believe need addressing and why. Um, I can mention, first of all, I would like to mention the puberty right, which is no more going on in my region. And then um, I would like to tell or send a message to my people to encourage puberty rights again because <laughs> because I, I think puberty rights um, will help develop the economy. It will, put, it will put the youth on track. It will let them know the good and then the bad. And then we also have the Chiribra thing I used to be performed in my region, but it's no more. That one too, I think, um, it was really helping the region. It guided the youth, especially the ladies. Yeah. It guided the youth, especially the ladies, so they were not indulging themselves in um, boy-girl relationship and teenage pregnancy and other stuff weren't happening in those days so i would like to send this message across to my people to like encourage it you know. yeah okay but is there any other thing that you think are culturally practiced in your area that you think are obsolete and that they need to be stopped for instance sorry is there anything any cultural um activity or something that is done in your region that you think is outmoded that needs to be stopped. Mm. No. Not necessarily. Not. Mm. I think I would like my people to encourage the puberty right. Mm. That is what I want my people to do for the region. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I want an only poker in the house.
It's not easy. Say me, can you me? Inya mi me ni pesi ye bi e. Ke mo fi amo ni ko emi o sin. Cha ni o manye ablawo. The best of boxing in Gold Coast Ghana with a tradition called Asafo Achele which originated a local martial art which originated in the late 19th and early 20th century. It is presented here as the preparation for the successful adaptation of the international sport boxing in terms of skill, stamina, and courage. We, the guns, are known for our long history and success in the sports. Bukom, a fishing community in the outskirts of Accra, is considered to be the boxing center of Ghana. Bukom, Ever since the 1930s, boxing has become the dominant sport, and it has produced several notable boxers. There are more schools, more boxing schools, 20 boxing schools in that area. It is the only area in the world that has a quantity of, of boxing schools, and also the only area in the world that has produced champion boxers over the last 75 years. We have the likes of Atukwe Porte, Floyd Robinson, Joe Tete, DK Poison, the Professor Azuma Nelson, oh. Ike Basuka Klote, Joshua Kote, Joseph Agbeko, and our own Bukon Banku. Say Banku Eba. Despite the ups and downs, the frustration, these gallant men brave all odds with hard work, determination, and perseverance, have made our proud homeland Ghana very proud indeed. And wherever boxing is mentioned in the world, their names are not let out. But with their laurels, the prestige, and the honor, as well as the proceeds we benefit, what do we do for them? We lead them to their faith and they die. And when they die, that is when we organize befitting funerals for them. Why can't we do something for them now before they die? Boxing benefits across every child. Who would have been violent? Wayward. Some gain financial support. Boxing Juvenile Foundation teaches the children to be disciplined, ambitious, provides support and education for them. Cheme Kenya me, ofa ne mi kwa nye fine. Woke boxing ne afita school ahe. Education is important. So let us attach education to the boxing. I call on government to establish a board sin academy that highlights the dual importance of schooling and boxing. Students who combine boxing with education should be given incentives as scholarships. Government should use our heroes, their expertise, to train us. Women like me who are in these sports should be given the same platform as their colleagues who play soccer. And also, they should build ultra-modern facilities for them and also technical men to train them. Cha ni omanye ablawo. 
Well done, Poka. Thank you for reminding us also to celebrate our heroes. I have this question for you. I hope you give it a, a good punch. <laughs> Why and how would you convince a family that is not encouraging their children to learn any local language to do so? Thank you very much for the question. Culture is a way a particular group of people live. It depicts where we come from and also who we are. Culture also tells us who we are. We have tangible and intangible culture, and languages is part of our intangible culture. Languages differ from place to place, and no matter the difference, it's important. I will advise people all over Ghana to teach their children about our language because it is important and also preserves our culture. It depicts where we are coming from and who we are as a people. For instance, I come from the Upper East region. I speak Kusal. It tells me wherever I go to in the world or any part of Ghana that I go to, if I tell them I am from the Upper East and they ask me specific, specifically where and I tell them from Boku, they will say they speak Kusal. So I would encourage all Ghanaians to please that we should teach our children our languages because it is part of us and it tells us who we are and where we are coming from. Thank you. Thank you very much. A tongue do do na wa and no se. A nong do do na wa no se. Ezi be be. Ezi be be. Ezi be 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 be. No te na bi ato. Amme de la pa de ma. I found my fa. Linya, 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 nya, nya, linya, 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 nya, nya. The Volta region for you. We are strong. Amoto, Wedumeto, Tongto, Guamao, Medo Gwena Miakata, Miawe Zolo. I am from the Volta region, a land of unique people who love themselves in their land. By our language, our names, our food, and other peculiar traits, our identity is easily notified. I am a warrior. Yes, and it is evident in my costume, which is the Adjogo dance costume. It's a ritual dance which was performed every night before battle to seek favor from our war god, Adjo. But sometimes, Silence is all you need to conquer your enemy. That is why we fought a silent battle of liberation from a wicked king, King Agokoli, and fled his tyranny in Moche, where we were slaves in our own land. Yes, sad, isn't it? But then, we mastered courage and we fought for our freedom to end the crimes and the woes of the young, the weak, and the old. And that is exactly how we did it. as good as mine. They walked backwards so that they would avoid pursuits 
with their faces towards the town. Their footprints could not be traced. That is the wisdom of our old people. Chuck <laughs> Davis has said that to know a group of people, you must study their culture. And to know their culture, you must study their dance. That is the Huseko dance. And it is performed at the Hogbachoto Festival every year, especially to commemorate our successful and brave escape from Wachia to our present domicile. They thought they were killing us, but through it came our strength. A great son of the land, Professor Kofi Anidoho, in his book, Pray Song for the Land, he said, in spite of all the pain, without a doubt, that we hold the world record for survival against unreasonable odds. As a nation, we have no reason to be disintegrated because even us, the voter region, we have the Anglos, the Tongus, the Vedomes, and the Guans, but unity and love is our hallmark. Just as Ghana, we are culturally diverse, but one people with a common destiny. And those who thought they are taking away our voices, they are not surprised they could not take away our songs and our dance. What are you? What are you? Nama yazi to ma plazo wae. Nama yazi to ma plazo wae. Wase wase ilo ile. Awa wazi popo ni wacha dia do wayazi. Awa do wande. Yes, uh, having um, done such a wonderful work, um, I would like to ask you this question, and I want you to deal with it for me. Would you encourage a cultural competency test for office holders, and why? Thank you very much for the question. Culture is our way of life, and as Ghanaians, who hold their culture very dear to our hearts. If you are working anywhere you find yourself, I think your culture should be very important to you. It should be first, the way you receive people, the way you work, your, your customer relation, how to talk to people. It is all part of our culture. And I think those in the offices or everywhere you find yourself, you should depict that culture. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So met it so two city, three city. Miami Egiani Mochewa. Met it so Mumbay Two City, three city. I don't say. Oh, we Oh, Hey, Make new things, that's it.
This is what most of us go to in the marketplaces. All because our fellow traders think we are using spiritual means to sell. Me, a Me use it Let me tell you what I use in my business. Number one, customer care. Customer care basically means identifying the needs of your customers and meeting them. Do you know that five dissatisfied customers can turn away 11 more potential customers? This was said by Philip Kotzler. Let's have patience for our customers. Have time to explain things to them. Number three, number two, sorry. The second one is the location where we sell our things. Most of us now in the cities think that when we sell our lorry stations, pedestrian ways, roadside, that is where we get more customers. But let me tell you the risks involved. One, a buyer for Number two, you can contact deadly airborne diseases such as tuberculosis, which the Millennium Development Goal sees is fighting against. You can also be easily knocked down by moving vehicles. So please, Let's sell at places where the authorities has endorsed. The third one is the product. Why won't send me a something? You won't product on me, Shelly. We are original Ghana made. Oh, you can see. I've used. I made it myself. I use the Santi Kente. This is culture. Fueling creativity. I am encouraging and appealing to all our locally people who go into locally made goods that when you produce this thing, eh, don't go and write made in way, made in way, write made in Ghana. Be proud of your culture. I'm selling this to get money, but let me tell you what I'm doing for my mother Ghana. Number one, I'm promoting creativity. Number two, I am encouraging us to patronize our locally made goods. Number three, I am preserving my culture. This is what I'm encouraging all of you to go into. Learn it from the people of the Ashanti region. In conclusion, I would like all of you to take discipline as your hallmark at your workplaces. Aristotle once said, I count him brave that overcomes his desires than the person who overcomes his enemy for the hardest victory is victory over self. Midamwase, nyamin shramu, manwase. Bubune, well done. Thank you. I have a question for you. How can Ghanaian youth keep their identity in a globalized world? Thank you. Ghanaian youth, how can they keep their identity in the globalized world? Most of us go to places or other nations dressing in their costume or the clothing where you, where you go to. You dress and they can't differentiate between them. So I'm encouraging the Ghanaian youth that whenever you step out of Ghana or even in Ghana, you should put on the Ghanaian cloth so that when they see you, they can identify that you are a Ghanaian. You should also always take your languages along with you. Don't drop it 
and be speaking other languages so that they can identify that you are also from Ghana. I am also encouraging them that for them to be identified globally, they should take their names and be proud of who they are. I think you did well. You covered quite a few under that, that topic. Well done. Oh, 
Usanda, minya nanti Waka minke mbio Minyi binti, wakwa minko vio Nasana nanya mita Onayai Miso beta mamo beta mamo beta mamo Devi Miso beka mamo beka mamo beka mamo Miso Let's go Oh yeah 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 Lengele 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 Lengele